Welcome back to the Food Screws Taste Test Challenge. Today we'll be enjoying a top sirloin garlic fried steak with a nice garden salad and two very succulent tomato slices. Facing off against the steak we have some pride of the world snails and some sardines basting in tomato sauce. Gonna dig right into this steak here. Ultimate's a food scrooge. That's wonderful. Very good marbling in the steak, you can tell. It really draws the flavors out of that red amber ale. That is a fresh tomato. But drizzled with a little Italian dressing. Very complimentary. You really have did yourself on this one, Zach. Thank you. It's a special technique handed down by my forefathers. How old did you say the technique is? Well, it goes back at least one generation. <laughs> you think it's time to move on? I think it's time to move on. Just give the viewers what they want. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to eat this. Don't know what to call that. <laughs> Except a snail. Pride of the world escargot. Let's not let that fancy name fool us. We're eating snails out of a can. Why don't you try one first? I, I think not. <laughs> Perhaps you should have had the uh, snails before the steak. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you'll, your palate will be leaving. Very few. Not, not too bad. I think it's probably mostly in my head. Oh, not too bad. It's delicious. So the um, the escargot was not not as bad as I would have thought, but still not something I would eat on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, next up we have um, the sardines canned in a tomato sauce. Bottoms up, buddy. Similar to the prunes, I um, actually do not mind the um, sardines. So I find I got head in the can. These are actually a nice breath of fresh air after eating those um, snails. If I were to rate these two, I would definitely give the sardines a very strong lead against the escargot in a can served cold. It's probably not giving justice to the snails to eat them cold out of the can though. For this week's winner, we're going to definitely have to give it to the Food Scrooge Steak, which paired very nicely with the red amber ale and the fresh garden tomatoes. If you'd like to see me eat a particular item, be sure to send us any suggestions that you have. Check us out on Facebook or Twitter, and stay tuned for next week's episode.